Good morning. Welcome to English Final. <laughs> um, so much more dramatic when we do this in person. Like when I've been standing in front of you and I go, this is your final. Blah. And you're now you're at home. Um, first thing, you don't have to print out the final. What I sent to you, um, you don't have to print out. You can just number your sentences. So don't worry about like hitting print on the thing. Uh, just number your sentences. Write them nice and clearly for me. Um, if you're using pencil, which I guess all of you use instead of pen. Um, when do you start using pens? Pens are good. Why are pens good? Because it's easy to read uh, for someone who has to put on go. Oh, so. Um, uh, write nice and dark with your pencil. Um, uh, just number your, your sentences. In the first part, in the first nine sentences you have to write, you have to write a lot of sentences, the first nine sentences you write, uh, you uh, give you the, the verb tense, when is it happening, um, and the tenses that I give you are all on the repaso that I give you the other day, so there shouldn't be no surprises. You can use that. While you're doing this test, if you like, call oh, it. What's a what's a proper noun? You should know what a proper noun is. Uh, but if you can't remember, look, you can look at the repasso. It's okay. Um, so and then remember. So each sentence has the verb I'm asking for, and then one kind of the word types, and you underline that word type. Uh, in the first one, you're going to use a proper noun underline that proper noun just so I know that you know which one it was um, there's uh, one two three four six seven eight nine the last three seven eight nine there's two that you could have to underline um, so number seven it's gonna be you're writing a sentence that's in the future tense and you're gonna include a proper noun and a question word and underline both of those the last Bunch, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh my goodness, are all questions um, that uh, I ask you questions and you have to answer them. That's it. Write using complete sentences. Everything is a complete sentence on this. What is in a complete sentence? Uh, subject, who or what is it about? The panda bear is the subject. A verb. Um, uh, is eating, uh, and then oftentimes uh, something else uh, past that. You could just say the panda bear is eating, and that's a sentence. It's got a subject and it's got a verb. Usually, it's more the panda bear is eating some bamboo shoots while the snow gently falls on its fuzzy back. <laughs> is also a sentence. Um. Complete sentence has a capital letter at the beginning. Complete sentence has, has punctuation at the end of it. It's got a period or an exclamation point or a question mark. Um, so don't forget that it's a complete sentence. Uh, and then the, in, uh, especially at, yeah, whatever, yeah. When you're done, when you've written out all of your sentences, take a nice picture of it, uh, well lit, uh, and send it to me. After you've sent it to me, then we'll talk on the phone. And what we'll do is, I'm gonna, we're going to talk over it. I'm gonna, we're, you're going to read it to me. I'm going to say, hey, read me number seven again. What's missing there, etc. cetera. Uh, and we'll just talk, uh, and I'll have some questions for you. But so finish it all first. Send me the picture of it, and then we'll give a talk. And then you go with it. Oh, something beeped. I got to go. Bye.